Comedian Ali Wong and husband Justin Hakuta are getting a divorce after eight years of marriage. Wong's rep Jason Heyman confirmed the split to USA Today. The couple met at a friend's wedding reception in 2010, according to People and Entertainment Tonight, and married in 2014. Wong and Hakuta share two daughters, Mari 6, and Nikki, 4. In her 2016 Netflix special, Baby Cobra, Wong said she knew Hakuta, son of game show host Ken Hakuta, was husband material straight away. The first thing I learned about him was that, at the time, he was attending Harvard Business School. And I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna trap him, Wong said. And I trapped initially by not kissing him until the fifth date, which is a very unusual move on my part. But I did it on purpose, because I knew that he was a catch. Look back, Ali Wong talks parenthood, gets vulnerable before release of uproariously funny book, Dear Girls. Women are funny. Here are the books to prove it, from Ali Wong, Jenny Lawson, Mindy Kaling and more. Wong also poked fun at married life in her Netflix special, Don Wong, released earlier this year saying she felt deep envy toward single people if you're romantically involved with somebody and then all of the sudden that somebody reveals a personality trait that you don't like you could just leave move to another city and never see their stupid face again wong joked because you didn't make a promise in front of your grandma and all your co-workers and ask your friends to buy you an instant pot you didn't fuse your DNA to create human life that will forever ask you, where's daddy? Wong said she's unafraid of failure because her parents embraced it growing up, and that this perspective has served as a catalyst for her own success. It was kind of easier to get up from failure because I was taught it was a way of life and an important way of learning about yourself, Wong said. I had hit two parked vehicles and usually some parents would flip out. My parents were like, well, now you know not to do a three-point turn on a narrow street. She added, I want to instill that in my kids. I want them to not beat themselves up when they inevitably fail.